Welcome back trainers and we're going to be going over the next event that is going to be revolving around the Ultra Beasts and there is something to take note of and we have not seen all the Ultra Beasts yet. This is just a fraction of them and we'll have to see when they drop those next ones but we are going to be seeing Sigalio and Lunala. You're going to actually be able to evolve that with the current Pokemon that you do have from that research task so it is going to cost 100 candies to go either way and you're going to be able to collect those candies to evolve it or you can put rare candies into it but you're gonna have to complete that field research test with professor willow and then you're gonna be able to do this here which one do you want to evolve we'll stay tuned and we'll take a look this is going to be going down november 23rd at 10 a.m so make sure you're on that taking a look at what you can expect to see in the wild for this event let's see here if i see anything that i want star you i mean i still haven't found that shiny which is crazy and as far as getting candies for anything else, I'm personally going to be not really hunting anything. Okay, I'm just going to have my Go Plus on. It's been one of those seasons, folks. I'm a little underwhelmed here, but I'm not going to complain. You're going to see Mega Houndoom in Rays from November 23rd until December 1st. And then Nihiligo from November 23rd until December 1st. That is something I want. That's something I want to hunt and get XL candies for because I want to power mine up, potentially for raiding not so much for pvp because in master league i don't know how much it's going to be doing there taking a look at some other things here you're going to have various different clothes the sky is going to look different and then you're going to have the ultra beast now the ultra beasts are not going to just be appearing everywhere in your area they're going to be region located now this is going to be going down for one day to get these ultra beasts and personally i'm going to go over what i want to actually receive as far as those raid invites. So they're actually gonna also be in field research task, which is gonna be very interesting. All right, so Buzzwool is going to be in the Americas, Zergatry in Asia Pacific, Feramosa is going to be in the Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Guzzlord is going to be worldwide, okay, yeah. Cartana is going to be in the Northern Hemisphere and Celesteela is going to be in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, as far as which ones I want, I don't need Buzzwool. I've already got 100% maxed out and everything I need. Zergatry is something that I want as well as Cartana. Uh, Feramosa, I'll take those as well. Don't need Buzzwool and don't care about Celesteela. The thing is not going to be too good really anywhere. So I'll take Caratana, Feramosa, and Zergatry. Let's go. All right, now taking a look at another part here from November 21st until the 26th. This is going to be the whole team effort thing. So 50k referrals for a lure and then 100k referrals for Ultra Balls or Ultra Beast Balls, I should say. You're also going to be getting more XP for raiding as well as more candy XL from raiding in, in person. So you're not going to be able to get that remotely and then we're going to be seeing five free raid passes from 11 a.m until 7 p.m and then various different pokemon in the wild around the gyms that you do, do defeat the ultra beasts and they will have an increased chance of being shiny so cool uh these are also going to be the clothes that we're going to be seeing when this does all go down now taking a look at my deal that i have going on here i was extremely i was going to say lucky but i don't like saying that i had good odds there's no such thing as luck it's just going to happen or not uh, so we have a 15, 15, 11 here, which I will be powering this thing up. Now, as far as investing in this, well, it's going to be coming down to how many candies that you do have to put into this. And when it comes down to XL candies, if you got those on reserve and you want to go ahead and put those into it, I don't urge you to do that. That's going to be for like maybe mythicals that are going to be even rarer and not being appearing in raids. And I do believe we're going to be seeing these in raids. We don't have a date yet. We're just going to be able to get the evolutions now, you know, nice and exciting, rare thing like the Galarian birds. Uh, but don't get too hasty on investing those XL rare candies right away because we're going to be seeing those in raids and you're going to be able to get those candies right away. And of course, this is going to appear. You're going to be able to complete that, get more candies, and then you should be able to evolve it unless you did power it up at this point in which you're going to have to invest your rare candies here as you can see i'm almost sitting at a thousand i've been using those like crazy so i don't have i was gonna say don't have too much but i have plenty right so taking a look at sigalio steel and psychic type or psychic is steel type is going to be like metagross max combat power of 4570 attack 250 defense 191 and stamina 264 this thing is going to be loaded now what moves does it have and will they stick let's go ahead and take a look for its quick moves we have fire spin and zen headbutt you don't want zen headbutt fire spin all the all the way solar beam flamethrower iron head and psychic fangs for the charge moves all subject to change but i'm pretty sure these are going to stick here and it's looking like a pretty good lineup for this here so which one do you want to go with well it's going to be up to you 
really on which one you want. They're both looking pretty interesting here. But if I had to choose, I might go with the Sigalio. Okay, Steel is just always great. Lunala, Psychic and Ghost type. No, no doubt that this looks great. Max EP 4,570, Attack 250, Defense 191, and Stamina 264. Looking a little familiar here. So, Ghost and Psychic type. What is that going to be weak to? Oh, I don't know. Dark. You're going to be going down in one shot with any sort of dark charge move. So, look out for that. <laughs> Taking a look at its quick moves, Confusion and Air Slash. That's not bad. Nothing that's going to be farming up too quick, though. Uh, charge moves, and we're going to have Future Sight, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, and Psychic. Future Sight and Psychic, eh, they're good, uh, but two Psychic moves. Moonblast, okay, Shadow Ball getting stabbed there, very nice. Uh, so as far as this thing is concerned, like I said, I'm going to be going with Sigalio, but this is also going to be something very interesting as well. I just want to personally go ahead and start it off with that Steel and Psychic type because, well, that's just a damn good typing, and it does have some sort of potential in the open master league as opposed to lunala which also does but it is going to be left a little vulnerable with quick moves that are both going to be resisted by steel while this sigalio fire type is going to be able to uh, melt through those steel types that are going to be everywhere right so let's go ahead and take a look at we what we can expect in the future here we've seen all these ultra beasts right okay all right we've gotten guzzlord very good and this is the next thing that we can expect to see here kind of an interesting one pure psychic type it has a decent CP, or pretty good, 4,163 attack, 251, not bad. And its moves we do not know yet. We could go ahead and take a look on another site, but we're just going to go ahead and wait for now. This next one is going to be Mawile's, <laughs> it's going to say like uh, next life form, uh, but it is going to be a steel and fairy type, and it is also going to be interesting. Uh, this right here, Fighting and Ghost, always has drawn my eye, never really was paying attention to all the new Pokemon. As they do get introduced to Pokemon Go, that's how I'm starting to realize them. Not like I'm not a fan or nothing, but I've just been busy with Pokemon Go. Now this right here turns into a Poison and Dragon. What does that remind you of? Kind of like a Dragalge, except for on steroids, right? Really cool design. So this one's gonna be interesting as well. Now this one here, Rock and Steel type, reminds me of, uh, should be in like uh, Elden Ring or Skyrim or something like that, right? <laughs> so, uh, these Ultra Beast designs are actually pretty wild. And then this one here, we're going to go ahead and leave it at here. Another Chandelure type fire and ghost, and it also looks like a clown. Very interesting. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you do. Turn notifications on. I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.